Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are the romance books that I am looking forward to that come out next month in November. I have a bunch of books that I'm looking forward to that come out in November. So let's get into these romances. We're always going to be going in order of release. So a book that comes out on November 1st is Echoes of the Tide by Emma Hamm. This is the third book in her Deep Water series her mermaid romances that I love. It's a third book, so I'm gonna be reading it immediately. I loved the first two. On the fifth, we have Hexed by Emily McIntyre, which is a Little Mermaid retelling. I believe it's a dark Little Mermaid retelling, and I really like her dark retellings. I've only read the first two books in the series, so we do need to get caught up before this one comes out. Also on November 5th, we have See You at the Finish Line by Sarah Clement. It looks like this is a runner's romance. Um, my friend Keely, she is a runner, but also a romance lover. She posted about this book in her story and I was like, oh my gosh, looks like I need to put that one on the list as well. It looks like both of them are runners and it is a slow burn romance. We're having a bunch of books coming out on the 5th. So also on the 5th comes Lost and Lassoed by Layla Sage. This is book number three in the Rebel Blue, Rebel Blue Ranch series. Sorry, that one's a tongue twister, which is the next book in her um, cowboy romance series that people just seem to love. I do still need to read book number two. On the 12th, we have What If We Break by Jolena Falk. This is a college hockey romance. So it looks like these two main characters, ever since they were kids, they've been inseparable. Their unwavering love is almost palpable to a point where it leaves others feeling envious of their relationship. It's perfect and they are perfect together, at least until they're grown-ups. And suddenly college seems to be tearing them apart. Their friends have opinions on things that aren't any of their business and to top it off, their future dream careers are testing the couple's priorities. Then Brooke's skating partner gets injured, Reese steps in to help his girlfriend. Little does he know that spending so much time supporting Brooke's passions means sacrificing his own. It's okay though, because all he wants is to see her happy. But what will happen when he finally snaps? So it looks like they're already like together. It's like a couple in trouble romance. Also on the 12th, I have Pickleballers by Alana Long. That just sounds fun. I've never played pickleball. My mom plays pickleball. I don't know anything about pickleball, but this cover is really cute and I love the idea of pickleball players falling for each other and it being like a romance story. On the 12th, we have A Soul to Embrace by Opal Rain. This is her next book in the Duskwalker Bride series, book number eight. I've only read the first two, so I definitely need to catch up, but can we talk about this cover? Like absolutely stunning. Her Night at the Museum by Bryn Donovan also comes out on the 12th. A lot of books also coming out on the 12th. I love Night at the Museum. So if this has anything to do with Night at the Museum, like a retelling of some sort, I'm going to be in love with it. Braving the Storm by Elliot Rose comes out on the 15th. This is an age gap cowboy romance. I saw some art the author commissioned on Instagram and our heroine is a plus size woman who is wearing a cowboy hat. And I was like, say less. Say less, I need it. It is the second book in a series, so I'm probably gonna have to read book number one. Jennifer Chipman comes out with a new book on the 15th. It's called Alphamies to Lovers. I have yet to read a Jennifer Chipman romance, but I want to. A few of her books are on my TBR. The Daughter of a Runaway Christmas Elf, The Son of Santa Claus, A Whole Lot of Magic. What could go wrong? Sounds cute. I love how holiday romances are already on lists. Next is a romance I'm unsure is actually coming out Um, because I think it got picked up by a publisher, if I'm not mistaken. This is Rugged Blood by Ashley Bennett. It says on Amazon it's supposed to come out on the 15th. I don't know if that's going to happen. I thought it got picked up, so I don't know what's happening. Um, But this is a vampire romance that she said is kind of inspired by Charlie Swan from Twilight. The Match Faker by Ruby Barrett comes out on the 15th. I love Ruby Barrett's books. So anytime she writes a book, I need it in my life. He's not her perfect match, but he might be perfect for her. This one's about Jasmine, who's looking for love, but only if it comes with stability. Unfortunately, this also leads to F boys. <laughs> After another one dumps her by text message, Jasmine hires a professional matchmaking company to search for her. They say they found her the perfect match using their matching algorithm and with a 99% success rate, but Nick is an immature bartender with a bad case of Peter Pan syndrome. Even if he's hot and nice, he may not be boyfriend material, but she decides to cut her losses and ask him for help to save face at an upcoming event where her now engaged ex will be. It's a one-time arrangement that won't hurt anyone. Oh, okay, so it's a fake dating romance. A Baking Legend by Jamie Wesley comes out on the 19th. I read the first book in this series and actually really loved it. It was so cute. I loved it. So I need this one. And I think this is about one of the other football players who on their off season, they work at this bakery 
And I think this is another one of the football players that works in the bakery and his romance. Broken Harbor by Katherine Cowles comes out on the 19th. This is the third book in her Sparrow Falls series. I've yet to read any of the books in this series, but I love Katherine Cowles, so I of course have to mention her book on here. She's My Kind of Rain by Ella Embers comes out on November 21st. This is a small town country singer. He falls first romance and the first book in a series. Look at this cover. The cover just got released and I think it's so cute. There's a list of tropes I love when that's in a description. Okay. Set in the early 2000s, country singer, sunshine female main character, reserved sunshine male main character, small town country romance. He falls first, workplace romance-ish. Romance they work at a record company. Slow burn to insta love, ends in a happily ever after. That sounds perfect. I love when authors do that because like I don't spoil myself with a summary. It gives me all that I want with just the tropes listed. Holiday Hostilities by Katie Bailey comes out on November 22nd. This is a festive hockey rom-com. So it looks like it's a holiday romance that is enemies to lovers with fantastic banter. It does look like this is a closed door or fade to black romance. So just letting you know about that. Sugar Dusted Dad Bod by Cassie Mint comes out on the 22nd. Cassie Mint new releases are gonna be on this list. I love me a bigger man, so yeah. Church Girl by Naima Simone comes out on the 26th. She's a preacher's daughter, a runaway bride, and now the not so quite qualified nanny for a sexy tattoo artist with a beautiful daughter and a dirty mouth. If that tagline did not get you, I don't know what will. <laughs> on the 29th, I have The Wolf's Pregnant Rejected Mate, an enemy to lover shift or romance. I just read the title and added it to this list. I didn't even read the summary. Sorry, not sorry. And lastly, I have Resisting the Alien Writer by Ursa Dax. This is the third book in her Cowboy Colony Mail Order Bride series. This comes out on the 30th. I still have to read the other two books in the series, but I mean, Ursa Dax is going to be on this list. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all the romances that I'm excited for that come out next month in November. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a cowboy related emoji in the comments down below. Thank you all so so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all!